Hi folks, I'm back with Terrapin the Tortle Archaeologist. We have just finished up with Medusa's level and killed her, so that's great. Um, and now we're heading back up somewhere to do something TBD. Um, yeah, that's about it. So just going through my inventory, I do not have anything rustable. So I can just plop right into the water. I do have a ring of levitation, so I could always use that, but I don't want to worry about managing rings. That would be a pain. Um, what else? Uh, curved sword, I might as well bring along, I guess. Um, could make a saber with it. I'm really liking the tridents, so I doubt I'll end up using sabers, but how much damage does a trident do anyway? 1d6 plus 1 is the same as 1d8 average wise. 1d4 plus 2d4 is a fair bit more than 1d8. So yeah, tridents are much better. Interesting. Anyway, um, plus they're lighter, which is the important part, because I can offhand them. Uh, I don't know. I'm pretty overweight. What is even making me so... Burdened. I should test this wand, or maybe try to ID it, and this horn, and let's check out this ring too, what the heck. Uh, ooh, three IDs, that's lucky. Regeneration. Could have been useful in the past, no longer so. Um, one of Create Monsters, great for farming, so um, for, you know, getting sacrifices. And I'll just go down the stairs real quick to see what's up. Okay, got ourselves a little farm. We got ourselves a player monster, which is not peaceful, and it's a tourist. That's promising. They tend to have a lot of stuff. Um, Elven wizards are a bit scary, but I am quite the powerhouse at the moment. So, yeah, I'm going to leave that for my next outing, I suppose, but it's good to know. Oh, one thing I should check out is... Um, what is this too? Oh, it's a golem. Uh, one thing I should check out is um, where the Ice Queen's realm is. That does seem like a natural place to check out. Next. Um, other things on my to-do list would be getting a pet. I keep on killing pet could would be pets by you know because I'm not thinking. But if I see a horse or a dog, I should make a pet and um, off altar. Maybe this should be my stash level because it's farther down in the dungeon, which is always good. And. Uh, You know. Um, I don't think there's an altar. Uh, there isn't as great a place to put my stash as the teleport closet. Um, a few levels up. What peaceful Zrudi. Fascinating. I can only assume there's a poly trap somewhere on the level. There it is. Um, okay, uh, We, oh, I've forgotten wizard lock. I was going to try to lock up the room so monsters couldn't wander in and polymorph themselves, either by accident or intentionally. Oh, my helmet's no longer greased. Forgot about that. That is one reason to use levitate, I guess. Uh, well, I'll reapply the grease real quick. And then... Huh. Fresh giant. Uh, 
Um, one fun fact. Currently when you're blind, um, oprops like frost and fire don't actually work. <laughs> so, uh, that is a bug and it's fixed for the version that's coming out in like a day. Exciting. Um, but currently it means that getting unblinded can sometimes be rather a priority. And this is the wraith level rate. Gotta watch out for those pesky fellows. At least I don't have a pet to worry about this time. Um, yeah. So yeah, I'm still trying to avoid the quest because I would like to get to level 14 before taking that on. Well, I don't know. I, th I think I'm behind the curve on levels a bit, partially because of that wraith maybe. Um, and the spawn rate goes up, I think once you hit Gehenna, at some point. Um, anyway, even regardless of whether you enter the quest early. So maybe I should just go to the quest. Uh, quest artifact does grant ESP, which would be useful as a turtle. I don't have infravision, so I'm always worried about not seeing enemies. Enemies people would greatly help with that. Half spell damage as well, which is solid. Um, yeah, I don't know. Okay, I'm going to see if I can... Oh, that was funny. A secret standalone door. I'm going to see if I can avoid the elves until I'm unburdened so I can lure them over for sacrifice instead. Okay, inventory management time. So, yeah, I don't have too much to say on the subject. I'll keep some carrots around both to tame things and to eat if that becomes necessary. I always want a couple food rations on you. I always want several tripe rations, but I probably don't need six in total. Um, keep the frost giant stuff on me because I'm going to eat it for strength. I guess now I'm not satiated anymore. Don't need nymphs. Um, don't need this many scrolls. Another enchant weapon scroll. I think I will enchant my trident again. I probably won't be able to take all of this stuff out at once anyway. Yeah. Okay, so... Um, some point sh soon I really should, maybe I should use my AD scrolls now or like very short, in very short order because as I mentioned before, since I have the AD spell, um, there's little point in conserving, in conserving, um, ID scrolls, because they're going to be useless soon anyway. Okay. And then scrolls. Now that we need. All right. Um, speaking of ID, I am full power again. So what should I take out to ID? Well, I'll just take these out as a general rule, because I'm about to anyway. Spell books. I can ID some of these potions, I guess. Mm -hmm. Never need confusion, so I'm just dipping that right away. Okay, so let's ID some things. I try to. We're still at like three quarters percent, three quarters chance of failing. Not that we can't fail many more times in a row than that, <laughs> apparently. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hard to count the rows properly, but I think it might be nine in a row. Yikes. 
Um, what should we put in then? Uh, potions. Scrolls except enchant weapon. And I want to keep... Well, okay, I'm uncovered. Nice. So I'm not going to read this yet. Um, and then, But I will read the hardcover book because it's level 3. Extra healing, hopefully. Um, currently it's a really high fail, so it's basically useless to me, but it's a great spell to have eventually. And I can get to basic and healing, so I'll be able to cast it quite easily once I do that. Um, in terms of weapon skills, I don't super regret anything that I've taken so far. Expert Spear means I get high multi-shot if I really need something dead from range. Um, skilled Pickaxe means I'm faster at digging. But I really do want four skill slots, even five skill slots for spells pretty much as soon as I can get them. Uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much all I had to say about that. Um, I would like more skill slots. Whether that's from gaining levels or from reallocating them via Scroll of Amnesia, I don't know. Because, like I said, I'm pretty happy with what I currently have, so I don't know if I would want to reallocate anything. Um, let's... Uh, should I use a Blessed Scroll of Enchant weapon? Because if it goes up to plus six, then we're losing a point. So maybe it's better to use an Uncursed Scroll of Enchant weapon to get it up to a guaranteed plus five with a chance of plus seven. Well, okay, I don't have any Uncursed Scroll of Enchant weapon on me. One. Two. Easy enough to engrave it down to plus five if and when I decide to do that. Three, it's probably going to cancel it at some point because it usually does. So, yeah, I think I'll just go with the blessed scroll. Plus five, regardless. Okay. Um, what else do we want to take out? Um, possibly I'm carrying around too many wands. It's like 78 on right there. Uh, I will leave the lightning wand here. It's not going to be useful pretty much ever. Don't need multiple towels. And I should do these gems. Um, and we are left with putting away these wands. This towel. These gems. We're down to 865. Hmm. Oh, and wings too. Uh, okay, wait. So, okay, okay, there's actually three slash four places I can go. I can go below Medusa, towards the castle, although I certainly won't face the full castle yet. I can find the Ice Queen's realm. I can, um... What's the word? Uh, I can go to the quest, and I can go to Fort Ludios. The Ice Queen's realm is a bit annoying as a turtle because... Oh, but I have flying, so never mind. I forgot I said anything. Um, even though I will have to take off magic resistance, which isn't great. So, last time I took on the Ice Queen's Realm as a turtle, I used Levitation to float over the ice. Because turtles can't wear boots, so I, I can't use snow boots at all. Um, and I used it when fighting the Abominable Snowman, which is like a sort of mini boss on the second level. And it has a knockback attack. And it also throws boulders. So there's a boulder right behind me. It knocked me back into the boulder, and which made me helpless for like three or four turns and then took it like 90 of my health. Um, I was extremely close to dying after that. So yeah, I now have a mortal fear of 
fighting knockback enemies while levitating, which is probably a wise fear. But uh, I do have flying, so I can fly over ice, and it'll be fine. Although I do have to watch out, because then I won't be using magic resistance. Um, so that'll be very situational for when I absolutely need to be not on the ice, and I also can't be levitating, if that makes sense. Um, alrighty, so... Still, I think Ludios will be the friendliest place to go. Um, you know, I have Reflection and Magic Resistance. Uh, have good weapons. What more do you need? Uh, so let's do that. And, oh. Okay, let's see if we can get the elf silver towards the temple. That's another problem with Coraline Temples, is you can't lure monsters directly onto the altar, because they're too scared of you. Um, so you have to do with just getting kind of close-ish. Monsters do not seem terribly interested in following me. Oh, they are the elves and orcs grudge each other, so... Um, I have to kind of stay in the line of fire, otherwise she'll be more interested in the orc. And I'll just pick up this spear so she stops throwing it at me. quantum mechanic. Didn't leave a corpse, so I don't have to worry about the dilemma of whether to tin or sacrifice it. No corpse here either. A hat. Or I don't care about hats anymore. I forgot about that. Alrighty. Um, technically, my dragon hide home wasn't totally forever. It could get deteriorated beyond repair, which would really suck. That happened to me last game. Largely just because I was overconfident and thought I could kill this uh, lich before it totally disintegrated my helm, and it proceeded to disintegrate my helm, so I had to wish for another one, <laughs> which was kind of embarrassing. Um, I returns to flee. Come back here. I want to sacrifice you, and I need to be afraid. One further downside of um, breaking that Medusa statue is I think that was the first time I'd used my alignment. It technically makes sacrifice gifts slightly less likely. Like, just the tiniest little bit. But enough to be annoying. <laughs> Um, tinning this, actually I'm going to keep the genetic engineer tin out as a sort of emergency thing that I can eat in a turn or two. Um, and the chameleon meat will just be for when I'm not in an emergency and I want a polymorph. And another non-artifact gift, and it's a dagger. Okay, I was going to say that's useless, but at least I can maybe use it to forge something. Um, for something highly enchanted, the dagger might even have an object property. You never know. I'm gonna go th throw it at something. What's this? A yeti. I can try using it against the yeti, I guess, but if it's frost, then it wouldn't show up. Okay, so it probably doesn't have an object property. If it does, it's not an attack thing or it's frost. Oh, I should have attacked the rock piercer with my dagger. Oh well, I'll do it with the Albany. No. Lady. I wonder if elves will pick up orc arrows to use. I'm not sure about that.
Okay, yeah, nothing special about that dagger. It does not have any attacking op op uh, object properties. It could still have like ESP or something, but I mean, not that particularly because I would have noticed, but um, it could have like warning or something, but I don't care about that because it's not as useful to me. And also with warning and uh, Uh, searching in particular, I already have those um, intrinsically. Hmm. Okay, um, that's enough fooling around. Let's go off to videos. And I'm just going to drop this fruit juice and mythical little short sword here because I don't need them. And I can always pick them up on the way down again. Wait, this level is named Stash, yes? Okay. Um, I don't really want to engage this in Malay because it might digest me, and I probably kill it just fine, but oops, I don't currently have a ring of slow digestion, so it's very slightly risky. So I'd like to at least soften it up first, which I did. Um, so yeah, we're good. Um, okay, where is Ludios again? 12. Okay, two more levels up. Ooh, gremlin. And, ah, uh, Lydios is here. Okay. Here we go, folks. Um, so I like to, when doors are intact, luckily this one is, I like to stand and knights move away, because enemies have to come orthogonally through the door, and then once they're through there, they will almost certainly attack me instead of moving out of the way. So I'm facing one enemy at a time, but I'm also not in the line of fire via wands or rays or breaths or anything from the monsters in the other room. Uh, okay, um, I don't have anything super flammable on me. So I'll just take out the fire elemental. I don't have fire resistance yet, so actually that should have been a bit more of a factor than it was. But all's well that ends well. Maybe I should keep my lamp on, I don't know. Okay, I want to check out if there's a Wraith Corpse there ASAP. Is not a wraith corpse. And now there's a boulder in the doorway, which is a little annoying, except the giant will come over and pick it up immediately. Um, first, I'm going to chase down the snark and eat it, because that's 5% more disintegration resistance, which I should be writing now that I think of it. I'm up to 10 because I had another uh, snark earlier. Okay. Um, I'm actually going to try to get the giant a little out of the way so that the boulder doesn't fall in the doorway and ruin my fun. Um, and every once in a while I'm going to want to step here just to see if any consumables have been dropped. Because not only will soldiers use them, which I don't want, but also my weapons are perfectly tuned to destroy any, uh, any consumables I come across. So that's no fun. Uh, let's see. Um, I'll tin this giant real quick. And there's a giant here too, is there not? Yeah. 
So that should be, yeah, this soldiers here should be plenty to get me up to max strength of 19. Another reason to go to Luvios, which wasn't really considering earlier, but is nonetheless true. See, there goes a potion. Oh well. Um, I think in general, killing them before they can use stuff will... The added, the added speed of killing them from my oak props probably saves more consumables than they destroy. Plus, you know, it helps me not die, which is important. Okay, so the soldiers have all woken up one way or another, and they're coming. They are coming. Um, one issue is that with all the giant soldiers, this doorway gets smashed down pretty much all the time. It's very rare that you can get to it to open it before some soldier smashes it down. So this is not a valid choke point anymore. I need to stay here, basically, and so I will. Um, another other issue is uh, elves and orcs grudge each other, so they'll be scrapping and um, using consumables and dropping consumables for their soldiers to pick up and use, which is, you know, a little annoying. But there's nothing you can really do about that. Okay, so we've got ourselves a wand of digging. I'm not too worried about that yet. Woohoo! Level 13, and I feel more confident in my skills. What do I want to increase, namely? I think uh, I'll start with healing. If I didn't have all the raids that I can go eat after this, I would probably go with Divination, because I really want to have ID up and running. But since I'm pretty guaranteed to get another level soon from the raids, I think I'm going to start with healing so that I can use extra healing if necessary, which makes me a fair bit more survivable. Um, and let's get rid of this zombie. And see if there's any new... There's the wand of digging. And isn't there a giant corpse here now? Yes. Ooh, ouch. Okay. Let's put that away. It's not unheard of for a Lydia soldier to have a weapon of shock on them. So I do not want ones out while I'm laying all these folks. That is one bad thing about O-Props. So, for the most part, um, once you have Reflection, you're pretty safe from uh, shock damage. Pretty much, because pretty much anything that does shock damage is, is like a bolt of lightning or blue dragon's breath. It all gets reflected and your, weapon, or your items don't get damaged. Ooh, scroll of teleportation. I need to pick that up quickly. Okay, some sort of attack potion, but I don't know what it does. Um, where was I? Uh, right, so part of the reason people care... S Ooh, bearded axe, they can disarm me with that. Okay, gotta watch out for that dwarf. Um, that is, yeah, I do really like the racial soldiers because some of them, like each of them have their own things that they do. Elven soldiers see invisible, um, giant soldiers smash down doors and carry boulders, dwarvish soldiers sometimes carry axes, orcish soldiers and gnome soldiers are just kind of shitty. Damn. Took my trident. Okay, um, let's pick up my trident, pick up the bearded axe, um, pick up anything else that might be useful. Ooh, fair bit of stuff. Oh, that was a lot of things. Okay, and back off to regroup. Uh, so, the bearded axe just stick over here. Is there any other place I can dispose of it? Not really. Yeah, that's 
that's fine. Um, I'm actually gonna hop off to eat some wraith corpses. Might as well, you know. Um, I'll get a fair bit of experience from Lydia, so I might as well go towards my next level. Although getting to level 15 the experience is a bit of a trial. Regardless. Um, and I should eat these giants too, actually. Anyway, I was saying something about... I don't recall. There's the racial, racial soldiers and something before that. Oh yeah, weapons of shock. So, in like 3.7 or whatever, and also in Evil Hack, uh, exploding spheres can't be dodged, right? And so everyone freaks out about shocking spheres because of that, um, since they do unmissable, undodgeable electricity damage. Um, so they're a popular genocide target for that. Um, weapons of shock are like shock, ungenocidable shocking spheres. They're probably a little bit rare, but they're also, I mean, technically you can dodge them, but you also don't know that they're weapons of shock until they actually hit you. Um, and they don't only have one chance to explode and hit you. So they're almost as bad as shocking spheres are. And, uh, ooh, wreath, cool. Um, and there's pretty much nothing you can do about them. Oh, I'm not too opening. I should do something about that. I'm wondering why I was taking so long. Uh, no corpse that time. So, where are we? Level 17. I don't think there was wraiths above here. Um, so yeah, that definitely makes uh, non-metal gloves more valuable. And while I'm wearing them, I will be happy for that. But I'll still make the move for Gauntlets of Purity if I can get them. Despite them being silver. Okay, let's take out these to eat. We don't need multiple teleport scrolls. Don't need these. Don't need multiple digging ones, I feel like. Don't need three teleport ones, it's going a bit far. Okay. Oh, and the myth will bring short sword. Alrighty. Anyway, point is be careful with your wand, especially when you're fighting a whole bunch of enemies in a row that are wielding weapons that could potentially have properties. Um, the wraith, there are like multiple wraiths a few levels down, right? Yes, here's two of them. There might even be some below this, I can't remember. Still no corpse, alas. Okay, one more wraith. This, I don't know if this counts as a graveyard level. There was a ghost, but it was a, if it was a graveyard level, it was a very small one. Hmm. Maybe I'll lure the wraith downstairs just in case. I think there's messages if it's a graveyard level, and I don't recall seeing any of them, but I also am not super familiar with what those messages are, so I could have missed them. I don't have drain resistance, so this luring is a little bit sketchy. But, uh, okay. Still no corpse. That's mildly frustrating. Was there another wraith somewhere? I don't think so. No. Let's get rid of this troll wheel. Nope, okay, let's not get rid of this troll. Uh, ooh, Kushmar. Perfect, or nightmare or something. Lesser nightmare, okay. 
Uh, lovely. And then the polymorph trap is 16, so a fair ways up. Er, no, I don't care if it attacks the Tengu, although I suspect it won't, because it's pretty low level. Um, because I would very much like to eat the corpse, or the corpse. I'm not picky. I'm just checking each level because I've foolishly forgotten to annotate levels that have wraiths on them, so I'm not really sure which ones do or don't. Okay, I have seven, eight, nine star. I have five more giants to go. Probably enough giant soldiers in the DS. It'll be a bit close. Um, and right, the Terminator nurses are also on this level. I should maybe relearn Wizard Luck just for that sort of situation. Since they're kind of hard to avoid. Oh, frick. There's it, some monster in both the metaphorical and likely literal sense. Um, created a hole there. So, yes, I must be very careful. We are getting the heck out of here real quick. Um, what to do? Maybe I should just nurse dance with them? My hit points are 109, my level is 13. I'm, yeah, I'm well below. Like 10 points per level is a useful rule of thumb for when you should maybe consider whether nurse dancing is not a good idea. Um, I'm well below that, so maybe I should nurse dance. It's not like I even have to take off that much armor. Whoa, that was quick. Still on the level. Oh, and there's a cockatrice. Ooh, gotta be, gotta watch out for that. Because I'm barehanded right now. I will try to kill it at the earliest opportunity. There it is. Um, Magic Missile. Oh, I'm close to forgetting Magic Missile. It's not fun. Hmm. And now that I'm thinking about spellcasting again, I have some unidied stuff. Let's say try to ID that. Digging is a very important thing to know. Okay. That's enough power use for now. There doesn't seem to be any other humanoid enemies on the level other than nurses, which are an odd case anyway. So I'm not super worried about one of them wielding a cockatrice corpse, if I did indeed leave one when I killed it. And I'd just rather not go near it when I may or may not be wearing gloves, and it would just be a whole thing. Okay, it seems that one of the nurses has vanished for real. Let's put back my things. Okay, I'm wearing my gauntlets of protection. So I will pick this up and put it in my bag. Okay. 
Yeti, because why not? And let's track down this nurse. Oops. Well, now that I'm naked, we can check out our ACIS. Um, at level 13, I've gotten extra AC at levels 3, 6, 9, and 12. Plus, I started with a base of 10. So I have 14 base AC from being a turtle, which means the other um, 8 must be from protection. So... Yeah, I have eight points of protection. Good to know. Uh, means I can buy one more guaranteed, but the rest will be chancy. So I'll likely wait. Is this not a peaceful unicorn? Okay. Um, hmm. I wonder what happens if you have a telepathic pet that transforms into a mummy that is normally mindless. How does that work? Something to try sometime. Um, I'm debating whether I should keep nurse dancing. Like, my hit points are still low. I think I'm going to kill it in hopes of a corpse. Because a nurse tin is just such a useful thing to have. Oh well. No corpse, but that means I can go back to polymorphing my pet into something not useless. Maybe. <gasps> oh, <laughs> that is not useless. Let's look this thing up. This monster is terrifying, um, and I'm glad it's on my side. Arguably, I should try to polymorph it again, because it's maybe too terrifying. So it's... Base speed is just 12, you can see. Um, and it has a very high level. Decent base AC. Some monster MR, which is might prevent it from polymorph. And then it just has absolutely insane attacks. Four attacks, all of them 3d10. But worst of all, the second two attacks are beheading. So they will insta-kill you if you have a head. Um, If, it's a, if you have a non-tame Jabberwock, that basically means you don't want to go next to it, unless you're wielding the Vorpal Blade, which protects you from the heading. Um, and will also instantly one-shot any uh, Jabberwocks or Vorpal Jabberwocks if it hits them. Uh, with a pet, obviously, I'm less concerned about it attacking me, but still, if it gets confused or something, it could, in theory, instantly kill me. So, I must be cautious. Um, in particular, I would very much like to feed it. Oops, I didn't want the rocks. Just, there's enough enemies on the level, I'm like, why shouldn't we try to convert this altar and do some sacrificing? Um, oops. Plus, I can get my Java rock to kill some things and level up some. As you can see, it is very good at killing things. Damn, another non-artifact gift. A large shield, that's useless. And super heavy. Yuck. Okay, forget that noise. Oh, unicorn horn. Um, well, very happy with the Vorpal Jabberwock. Let's hope it doesn't in immediately die like my other pet did. Um, I'm gonna go upstairs and search for the floating eye to feed it. Hopefully it will actually eat it. Well, I'm feeling hungry at least. Um, yeah, so intrinsic granting corpses are considered treats, which means monsters are more likely to eat them. But still, if they're not hungry, they won't bother. Um, and it's really difficult to tell whether something's heavy, uh, hungry or not. 
So, can I chat? Burbling? Sure. I don't know what that means. Uh, yeah, so. So I don't know, maybe I should just shut it in a closet somewhere for several turns. I don't know if I'm that desperate yet. Another thing about, uh, this is unrelated, but another cool thing about Rorpal Jabberwocks is that they are rideable and they can fly, so they make decent mounts for monsters as well, which is scary as heck. Uh, alrighty, telepathic, lovely. Don't have to do any fancy starving tactics. Um, oh, and I think I don't know if Rorpal Jabberwocks are poison resistant by nature, but I didn't see a unicorn horpse along with that horn. So presumably it also eats the unicorn and is poison resistant. That would be nice. Um, just in where this other oh, it's a white unicorn. I don't want to stick my Jabberwock on that. Um, where was I going with this? Right, so uh, monsters can ride Vorpal Jabberwocks too, which is scary because you don't necessarily notice that it's a Vorpal Jabberwock and then it, you get next to it and it beheads you. Um, but when you're riding it, it's a lot of fun. I'm a turtle, so I can't ride things. But I can make bardings. Jabberwocks are large, which means they can still be engulfed and digested. Um, It'd have to be a huge to be made to that. And I have a handy dandy mithril morning star. So I am going to wait, where's the barding? Did I go past it? I did go past it. Shoot. I'm going to use the barding and my mithril morning star and forge wherever that is. It could be in like three different stashes. Ooh, okay, let's hope that my Jabberwock is hungry. Oh, I forgot. Um Pets only get one intrinsic per corpse. So even though the flesh golem grants like four or five different intrinsics, it only got electricity resistance, which is semi-useless. But I guess I'll take it. Um, I really wish I had a stethoscope. That is... Yes, that would be very nice. Okay, I'm gonna eat this red nog on myself because I'm still not very fire resistant. Gives me 28% fire resistance. Lovely. Um, so that brings you up to 70% fire resistance. Nice. Okay. Um, so let's get this barding. And I think the Mithril Morningstar might actually be in my Sokoban stash. So I need to go up from here. Wait, do I still have a Sokoban stash even? Man, I'm so disorganized. Where's the upstairs, for that matter? Oh, the entirely opposite side of the level. Oops. Um, I'm trying to let my Jabberbot kill things, if I remember. Um, no idea of no what level it is, because I have no stethoscope, but... Where do I know where the barding is? It must be somewhere around. Oh, it's down here. This is a, the corpse of the knight steed. No longer there, but I remember it being there. Um, so the barding must be there too. Okay, question is do I immediately apply it to my steed? I don't think it would be cursed, right? Oh, I can't bard? I could have sworn the Jabberwocks were rideable. I don't know if object lookup has anything to say about rideability in any case. Can I put a saddle on it out of curiosity? Hmm. 
No. Interesting. Okay, I guess no barding necessary. Bizarre. Um, I don't know, I might as well log it down to my stash anyway. Uh, I'll probably get a Pegasus at some point. Might even be worth making Mammoth while barding before I get down there. Okay, I need to be really careful around um, So Jabberwocks can open doors as you can see. I think they might even be able to use keys, terrifyingly enough. Oh, that's a lockpick. <laughs> um, plus, you know, they're decently fast, so... A bit hard, especially since I'm burdened. Okay, I'm dropping the barding, so I'm not encumbered. That should hopefully give me the time to lock the door before I'm on. <laughs> there we go. Uh, and what is this? A house cat. Okay, I'll kill that. Um, Sometimes I might try pacifying it so that I can make a new pet later if need be. But, uh... My Jabberwock would probably encounter it and kill it before I could stop, stop it, so... Okay, now I'm just being paranoid about possible lockpicks. Um, okay. Well, okay, with a Vorpal Jabberwock, I may be thinking that the quest... Well, but I'm still not level 14. Okay. I was thinking the quest might be a good place to go because with all the soldiers, there's a solid chance of polymorph wands or wands of death or other things that will kill my pet. Um, and also, it, I don't necessarily need a pet when I'm fighting the soldiers. In fact, it's arguably an annoying thing to have because I have less control over where the soldiers are dying. Um, I prefer them to die next to me, where I can immediately pick up their loot. Uh, meanwhile, it would be a lovely thing to have against a single powerful enemy like my quest nemesis. Um, but I'm not level 14 yet, so... I don't know. Um, I do have some unidied potions. Maybe one of them is game level. I can try to check that out. I am quite bummed that none of the wraith corpses, none of the wraith dropped corpses, seemed pretty unlikely to me. But I guess it happens. <sighs> Anyhow, oh, why am I carrying that dagger around? Whoops. Um. Alrighty, uh, I, er, I just said I was going to ideas and potions, so I should do that. Um, this is the only one that could be gain level, I guess. The others are price ID. Full healing. Okay, well, there's no gain level, but I'd very much like to keep that on me. Thank you. Um, what spells am I close to forgetting? Force Pelt, Magic Missile... Identify... Eh, whatever. I'll leave them forgotten for the moment. Stressed? Okay, no way am I carrying that over to the stairs. 
Um, or over to the author. Okay, back to Lydia's. I went too far, didn't I? No, I didn't. One more level. So one problem is I can't just leave my Java rock behind because I absolutely do not want it to be untamed. There's no way I'm risking that. Um, I guess it's actually, provided it knows not to step on the trap, it's actually contained where it is, which was not my intention, but yeah, heck yeah, I'll take it. Um, oh, we've got ourselves a bolt of cold. Ooh, a crystal stout spear. That does, that's a, does plus three damage compared due to the material. Like crystal stabbing and slashing weapons do plus three damage. So I don't know if it's necessarily better than like steel trident, but I don't know, it's worth considering. Um, I can't really add it to anything in particular, unfortunately. Let's see if I can add you this wand real quick. And I guess this other one. Or no, I want to know my can of grease actually. 12 charges, nice. Oh, wand speed monster. One problem with the high monster magic resistance is my Jabberwock. Oh, it might actually be moving faster and I don't get the message because I don't actually see it. I just have telepathy. Damn. Uh, I don't know how that messaging works. So monsters can resist one to speed monster, even your pets will and they just won't speed up, and there's no message about it. So I assumed that it just kept resisting, because it does have decent MR. But it might also be that I, since I can't see it with my eyes, just telepathy, um, it might be that it's sped up and I don't get the message if I don't see the actual monster, I'm not certain. So, and I can't really tell if it's sped up since I don't have a stethoscope, slightly annoying. Um, So I guess I'm just going to save those last two charges for now. And hope it's sped up. I don't know. Oh shit, that's where we uh riding a dragon. I think I can take it. There we go. And gold dragons, unfortunately, do not grant intrinsics. Um, I guess that was the only giant corpse. Okay. Um, so, uh, yeah, they their skills give sickness resistance and blight, but um, just eating them doesn't do anything for you. They also resist fire because they breathe fire, since even K2, I guess, thinks a sickness breath would be too evil. <laughs> Not that I disagree. <laughs> that would be terrible. Um, in the new version, there's going to be a shadow dragon with a level draining breath. Um, and 
uh, yeah, so that's going to be cool. I think it's a neat new danger. Um, plus they will be cloaked in an RO darkness, so you can't see them. Um, at least not easily. Oh, shit. Where'd my Jabberwock go? Please don't be dead. I mean, it resists. I assume it just... Actually, I don't care about the gold. Um, I assume it just went through the portal. And it hasn't been there long enough to lose tameness. Because it was there recently. Okay, it did. Thank goodness. Um, I just really hope that it wasn't dead. What's up with this soldier? Why isn't it moving? Whoa, how'd my Jabberwock get... Maybe the reason it wasn't passing over the portal was because of the cursed items. Interesting. Huh. I wonder if that soldier was giant soldier was paralyzed. Maybe they had like a stack of paralysis potions. It was weird that it wasn't moving for so many turns. Um. Oh, there's like three different giants here. Oh, missed one of them. Any more giants? No, that's it. Okay. Um, so I have four tins, which gets me to 18 star strength, and then I just need one more to get me to 19. So I only need to tin one more giant, and then after that it would be a waste of charges. It's probably a decent idea to leave wands of sleep and magic missile on the ground because they're harmless to me, although slightly less harmless to my Jabberwock, the poor thing. But soldiers will use them instead of, I was going to say instead of more useful things, but then they need to use a potion of blindness, so so much for that. Um, oh, and extra healing. Just lost one of those too. Dang. Uh, or actually, I might not tend the last giant because I'm hungry, so I might just eat it. Eat it raw, like a real turtle. Yeah, beginning to think I should attend it. This is an annoyance. What's this here? A giant soldier. Maybe I should just tin that one instead.
Let's get my Jabberwock in here now that I'm just mopping up the leftovers and don't really care where they die. Actually, is my Jabberwock okay? Really wishing I had that. Did it get paralyzed somehow? How'd that happen? Really wish I had a stethoscope. Right about now. Okay, let's try eating this giant corpus because it's more recent. Okay. Oh, and my Jabberwock's back in business. If it was ever out of business, unclear on that. Um, let's take these. This could very well be a plus zero, so I can add that to my quiver pouch. Um, I'm going to definitely come back for all the weapons later, but I'm just picking up ones that particularly catch my eye immediately. Um, same with the rations, I'll probably come back for many of them. But at the moment I don't need any. Um, I'm getting close to my weight cap. What can I drop? Certainly don't need as many ones of that magic missile. <sighs> yeah, don't need any. Oh, I'll just ID these gems real quick. Okay, aquamarine, or apparently green. Good to know. Okay. On to crisis and zombies and dragons and the last few soldiers. Ooh, and a flind. Fun. Um, of course, there's eels in the moat as well, and again, not super worried about that because turtle. Um, there's also a, yeah, a stone giant. There it is. Which was civilized enough to open the door instead of breaking it down. That's not something you see every day. Um, can I pick up, oh, it's a stone giant, not a frost giant. I was thinking it was, you know, white and a giant, but no. Um... I was thinking about feeding it to my Jabberwock, but yeah, that won't work. That won't work. Um, well, uh, maybe I can try eating it. This way I have one extra tin on me that I can use to restore lost strength, because Let's face it, I probably will abuse it at some point. Okay, this is dangerous. Um, I'm actually... Because my Jabberwock can be digested and there are dragons on the level. So I'm going to lock it in that room there. Well, I... Oh, paper golem. thought it was stone for some reason. Even though that's ridiculous because it is Oh, I'm using my spears and not my aqua skin, so I'm going to have to dive into the water to get those back. Annoying. And I don't even have an, a stethoscope. Still bitching about that. Yep. Um, to see how well I'm doing on this whole oh, taking the gray dragon down from range. If I had a ring of slow digestion, I'd be cool. I would be cool with not bothering to kite and just. Oh, here comes the sea dragon. Okay, finally. And yeah, with that, I'll take the scales. 
um, just standing next to the dragon and throwing the Atlas point blank. But because if it digested it would, me, it would just spit me out again, and that would be fine. Um, but since I don't have slow digestion, if I got digested, I'd probably have to cut my way out, and that would likely cancel me at some point, which would be a massive pain. Okay, and into the moat. To get our spears back. Um, and then we have a sea dragon over here, which I'm happy with taking on point blank. This portal. Um, oh, forgot about my grease. Keep forgetting about that. Um, let's see if it drops skills out of curiosity. It did. Not that I need them. Um, Yeah, actually, I'm going to drop those. Gray Dragon Scales, I could see maybe using for a pet or polyform. I can't imagine using Sea Dragon Scales. Anyway, um, was I saying anything? Right, uh, Sea Dragons. So they like swimming, and they prefer the water. They, they won't drown, I don't believe. Um, they're not actually like biological creatures, I think. I think they're like made of water. Um, but once you get them in water, good luck getting them out. <laughs> this one dude's just sleeping through the entire invasion. Wow. <laughs> um, okay. Anyway. Uh, and wow, he had some loot on him too. Well, that's the lodestone. Um, I'm going to pick up the chest, tip the chest onto the floor, drop the chest, and then just to make double triple sure, even though I'm 100% sure it's a lodestone, I'm going to kick it. Whoops. Um, and so, yeah, it's a lodestone. Eh, name for lodestone. And now I'm going to hobble around and walk it off. Okay, that was quick, actually. Oh, and I should put all this stuff in my bag after I try to ID some things. So why not? Wow, I'm really bad at this. Okay, that's not happening. Um, So anyway, sea dragons really like the water. They're supposed to be fast, faster in it. Currently, that doesn't work, but it will next version. So they'll be slightly more terrifying than they are. To, 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 to turtles, they're never terrifying. To other creatures, to other uh, players, they tend to be decently terrifying. Okay, green dragon is not terrifying to me either. The blinding is certainly annoying, but um, I am poison resistant, so. I don't care about that. Ooh, and it was even kind enough to give me a potion. Shit, my Vorpal Jabber walk left. Oh, this is bad. Presumably it left through the portal. And it's losing tameness as we speak, and I am freaking the hell out. I sh it shouldn't have become untame in this period of time, but... Um, I will lock it in the barracks instead. Um, there's still dragons inside the throne room. Mostly being, ridd being ridden now, annoyingly. Awesome. Decapitated. Uh, Non-gold ma uh, amulet of magic resistance. That in itself would be worth it. Plus more spellbooks and more rings and more scrolls and more fruit trees. This was just a good haul. Wizards all have all the best stuff. Um, oh shit, slurping sound. Gelatinous cube is on the level. Um, not too much of a concern for me since I have free, free action, but uh, I think it, 
I don't know what it would do to my Jabberwock. I don't know if it would kill it or not. Um, Cause yeah, suffocation attacks I don't even think are a thing in vanilla. I'm not sure how they work in Evil Hack. Yeah, I don't need any of this stuff, except um, for the moment. I do want to test out whether this is cursed. It is not cursed. I'd be surprised if it was, but... Okay, that's my new amulet. Um, and back into the lion's den. I'll leave it there for now while I take care of this cube. Okay. Um, I don't think it'll eat the cube corpse because it's acidic, but I will. For the 6% more fire resistance it gives me. Speaking of eating, I should get um, take care of the last of my strength. Oh, I dropped over here, didn't I? Yeah. Lovely. Max strength. Um, so I just need one more point in Charisma and Wisdom. Okay. Um, cool. Actually, let's chat with my Jabberwock. I don't know what'll happen, but maybe it'll... Okay, still burbling, still have no idea what that means. Will a Jabberwock eat vegetarian corpses? Does not appear to. Oh, don't want to be confused near my Jabberwock. Especially after I've been leaving it on a different level for a while. I just don't want to run into the other zombie. Maybe it just rotted away, not sure. Oh, frick. One of the doors is missing. This is why I should have remembered wizard lock. Okay, new plan. All right, fire, lightning, poison resistance. Shock resistance. Mostly just missing cold and sleep, I guess, for our Jabberwock friend. Which I haven't named yet. What a travesty. Um, what to call a Vorpal Jabberwock? Yeah, I'm struggling because normally I name my pets after like natural phenomena based on whatever theme the pet has going on. But the theme of cutting off heads is difficult to find a good metaphorical parallel for. I think I'm going to go with fault. Like an earthquake leaves a fault. Fault. Yeah, so we'll go with that. Um, whatever. Anyway, uh, which this, okay, it's a leprechaun, oops, let my new friend take care of that, open that door was not locked, glad I checked. And of course, okay, safely locked away, not in a portal room. We're good. Okay, um, now how do we want to take this challenge on? Oops. Um, I have, so I can pop into the water. I don't know if I can search for doors from there though. I think I need to, if 
first fly over, find out where the door is. Do I have any light scrolls or wands? I do. I'd very much like to light up the surrounding area. So... No, okay, the throne room's lit already. Okay, then. Um, what sort of dragons are we facing here? Or other mounts? Dragons are probably the only ones we'll care about, though. Gray dragon? Sucks. Green dragon? Whatever. And Crisis is not riding a dragon, so that's solid. Um, okay. So the thing is, if I go into the water, then I can kill stuff like this, which is fun as heck. I need to just be careful when... Right, um... I need to be careful if I kill a hobgoblin because then I might hit a gray dragon next and get canceled. This is just too easy. <laughs> okay, less easy. I just wanted to check out if there is any stuff I wanted to pick up. Oh, silver crossbow bolts of shock. Holy crap. Where are they? They're, they're being fired at the goblin outrider? Hmm. Interesting. Oh, it was, the goblin outrider had been in my way. It no longer is. How did I know it picked up a wand of digging, I ask you? Digging is probably not rustable if it didn't rust while I was in the water, but better safe than sorry. Okay. Now we face the dragon. Or the potential for facing the dragon. I just really wanted the centaur down so I could maybe get those, I hope some silver, other silver crossbow bolts survived. Oh well, um, <sighs> oh my god, it's a miracle my Atlas has not gotten rusted. How did I miss that? Is to jump in the water before worrying about the dragon because I really don't want it digesting me. Before worrying about the Atlas, that is not the dragon. I was worrying about the dragon. Oh, 
Alright, that was much less annoying than the other than the other great dragon had been. Still looking for other silver crossbow bolts. They might have all gotten broken by the center firing them, which would suck. I think they did. Shoot. Unless one of the other centaurs is using them. Not impossible. to take him on from the water. I might also stick this on. I don't know how good it is. For Christ's sakes. Um, don't really need poly control on when I have magic resistance. Kind of silly that I've been wearing it all this time, honestly. Great, I don't know where Crisis is. There he is. Hey, buddy. There we go. Oh, this is so fun. I have no regrets. Crisis, Crisis is a jerk, and I do not mind choosing him. Aha! Ooh, which is three is really interesting. Um, okay, we know mud boots are kicking boots, I guess. Neato. Not like the hard to ID. I'm not gonna bother naming them. Uh, uh, save. You only have the one silver crossbow bolt, which is useless. That would have made an awesome weapon. Oh well. Oh, I should eat something. Um, bring my Jabberwock back. Seek out some unidied stuff. Well, seems about accurate. Hey, what what ring should I be wearing now that I have finally it has finally occurred to me that protection, gain constitution. Oh I've forgotten to wear this during level ups. Eh, it's not like it's my final level up anyway. Increased accuracy is actually not a terrible choice, except it's made of gold, so it can be stolen. What the hell, I'll stick with that. I mean, I don't really need one more point of AC. Oh, that's like a bona fide golden naga, isn't it? Yes, it is. Yikes. Uh oh, momentarily disoriented is not a good sign. I think probably it, uh, just making sure Fault is not displaying erratic behavior, such as being confused and beheading me. Burdened, I hate being burdened. What is that? All in clean. 
Um, might be able to get faults and sleep resistance, I guess. Part, lazy part of me says switch to flying. The not an idiot part of me says why would you risk losing your magic resistance when all flying would do is make this very slightly simpler. Automatic searching is of course nice because I can see the traps, but it also means sometimes I find a trap and don't really remember that I found it, which is why I'm checking with terrain every once in a while to make sure I'm not going to step on a landmine. Um, it's not like it would do that much damage to me, but uh, but um. It would send gold flying, which would be a pain. Oh yes, now my pet is carrying around landmines. I'm sure that's safe. I mean, in that hack, it's fine. That hack is not real life. Um, okay, so we've got crisis, lovely. Um, we have all the gold, <laughs> as much as we'll ever need. Um, at some point, I'll want to. Yep, stepped on a landmine by accident. Now gold went flying. Annoying. Um, at some point I will want to... Shh, I thought it was disarmed for some reason. Okay, um, at some point I will want to... Uh, bring most of the weapons back to my stash so I can see if any of them have magical properties. For now, I don't know if I'll bother with that because the weapons I'm using are already hard to beat. Oh, that's enough gold to stress me. Well, that's all the traps done, so I can always come back for the gold later, I guess. Um, what is the stress threshold? 1125 times 1 1.5 is 1687. Okay, so I'm a fair ways off. It's just gold is quite heavy, I guess. Um... Oh, I was only getting stressed because my leg was hurt. I was wondering why I'm picking up so much gold now when I'm fine. Uh, so maybe I'll be able to carry it all after all. Alrighty. What's over here? Just multiple landmines. Yeah. There we go. Alright, where was I? Um, I don't really want to bother with the whole weapon thing now. Um, I think I might head straight for 
the ice queen. Yeah. Please eat the snark. No, eat the snark. It's really hard to get pets disintegration resistance because not many things give it. Um, but pets will gladly attack uh, black dragons just in the way and disintegrate themselves. Because black dragons have a passive attack that disintegrates things. Um, so you it's you really, really want your pet to have disintegration resistance. But my pet full was just not hungry, so I decided to just eat the corpse instead so it wouldn't go to waste, but I'm not happy about it. Um, okay, what should I drop? Like all the gold, I don't need that. Um, Actually, I'm full uh, power again. Let's try some more IDing. Oh, I forgot my name. Never mind. Okay, um, so back to our stash and down to the Ice Queen's realm. I think I can probably take her on. It'll be a good place to get cold resistance for faults. Um, and I will finally have a bag of holding, which is arguably the most important thing. <gasps> Shit. Shit. Oh, fuck. I do not want my pet attacking that. I think this is worth... Oh, thank God. Um, yeah, that was not fun. <laughs> Chameleon transforming into a black dragon just as I summoned my pet. Uh, I am very glad that it did not end up disintegrating my pet. Uh, okay. <laughs> that was... That was big scare, but we're good. Um, and I'm more than halfway to level 14 too, so I probably will gain enough experience in the Ice Queen's realm to get to level 14, and then I can do the quest after that. Hopefully still with fault by my side. Um, yeah, I think once we get back to the stash level, I'll end the video there. Um, and we will take on the Ice Queen's Realm the next time. All right, and we're back to the old problem of... Let's start with this, actually. Whoa. What? What? That was freaking weird. How did I get, how did I get teleported over there? Was it like some weirdness with getting teleported on top of a trap and that not being allowed? Maybe. Normally you can whistle a pet and if they land on a pet they'll just fall in, but Jabberwocks fly, so maybe there's some weirdness with that. Huh. That was bizarre. Okay. Uh And that's all we need here. And onto our stash. Oop, oop. 
I'm in some sort of sphere. No idea what my fault's health is at, but I may as well keep it topped up since I'm not using power for anything else. Okay. Whatever, I won't bother closing the door. Um, we'll deal with inventory management next time. That's it for now.